So, hello everyone. This is Mr. Baglio. I just wanted to do a little recording to show you what I was talking about for tonight's homework, which is number 27, data analysis. So you go back to my website, and then right here, walking data lab sheet, here's the link. Unlike in class, you're not going to be able to edit directly on the spreadsheet. Now you go to your class. If your class, for example, was eBand, which is on the front, you just click that tab. If it's C-Band, you click that tab and it will take you over to the class. So what you're going to need to do is copy this data into your own Google spreadsheet, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you go here and you click in the first box that says name, and then highlight all the way down to the far corner. When everything is blue, you hit Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC. Don't do it up here at the edit menu because sometimes that will not actually remember it. Do Command C on the keyboard. Then once that has been recorded, you can go out, since you're already in Google Docs, hit this little arrow in the corner and it will take you back out to Google Drive. In order to do all of this effectively, you're probably going to have to sign in with your fieldston.org email address. Now you click Create, go down to Spreadsheet. When the blank screen comes up, it will say Untitled Spreadsheet, and you will then name it. My data analysis of walking lab. Homework 27. Okay. And it will automatically start in this upper left corner. Make sure to click in it just once and then hit Command V. It will paste in all the data that you had. So the beauty of a spreadsheet is not just that it puts numbers in grids, but it can then do things for you. And one of them is do averages. So if I want averages to show up in the bottom line, I can write average. And now the averages are very easy to calculate. In this highlighted box, I will type equals. That's how you signal a spreadsheet that you're going to use a formula. And I'm going to start typing average. A, V, E, R, A. Okay, so average. There's average and average A. So just, we want regular average. So click it. And then we'll open a parenthesis. You go up. And now you're going to highlight the numbers you want it to average. And it will highlight it in green or some other color. And then you close the parentheses and hit return. It will automatically average it for you. Now, here's the beautiful part. I can grab this little blue square on the corner, which is called a fill handle, and I will pull the fill handle all the way across to the other columns. It automatically knows that I want the numbers above that box to be averaged and the answer to be put in that box. If you want to then round them to the tenths, we will go here and do custom decimals. We only want one decimal place, and boom, they will all be rounded. Then you can Make them stand out if you want by highlighting them and changing the color. Sometimes I do this to red. Then you can do the same thing over here. Averages. And do the same thing. Equal sign. Start spelling. Average. It already comes up because it knows I'm thinking about that. And then these are going to be going across. So I highlight them. Close the parentheses. Hit return. Same thing, I can grab this fill handle, pull all the way down, and it will give you not only the average of each row, but the average of the averages, which is down here. Again, I can go to Numbers, Custom Decimals, just one thank you, OK. And they line up so nicely. Now, averages aren't that tough. Even on a calculator, they're pretty easy. But medians they are a bit more of a pain because you have to put all the numbers in numerical order. This is one of the nice things about a spreadsheet is now if we want the median hit equals again to signal it's a formula MED up oh, it knows median too so we'll select median then the numbers for which we want the median 
Let's not include the average in this. Close parentheses. Turn. Boom. And that is the median number. So what I would like you to do is in this data set to show that it can be done, I want you to have it look the same way as it did with the averages, but two rows down to make the medians across, and then the median for each of the data sets going down, just like the averages. So you'll have a column down here for medians. The averages will be red, the medians will be blue. If you have any questions, you can email me, and if you would like to figure out anything else, you can do that too. There are a whole bunch of formulas and they can actually be found if you type in other things that you might want to find formulas for. For example, I don't know if mode is in there, but we'll focus on these two for now and others will come along later. That's it. Thank you very much. Good luck.